Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about how we can set up the code intelligence for C++ commands. So first of all, what is code intelligence? So this is the way or this is a shortcut to access and particular objects, methods and variables. And if we come from a Selenium background that we pretty much know it, how we can access driver dot and then it loads all of the existing methods and variables. So similar way, how do we achieve this in Cypress? To achieve that, there are two options, option one and two, we'll see that. And we'll also achieve that code intelligence for cypress.json, which is nothing but the config file. Okay, as part of the last video that we have seen, we have set up all the projects. And this is our project name and the cypress has all of the folders. So let's go to one of the existing files that we created as part of the last demo. So this is the demo file. So we do not know what the code is here. Let's not worry about that for now. And all that matters for us is let me remove all of this for code. So this is the first option. So this option comes from the TypeScript syntax where if we put triple slash and then reference, this is basically an XML tag as you can as you can figure it out. A reference is an attribute and it comes with the val attribute name and then value. So when we specify, then in the moment you put cy dot, it loads all of the existing variables and methods, right? If I just disable it, let's put double slash. And now if you start typing cy, it doesn't come up. It gives some other option, which is not what we want. So the downside of using this syntax is basically any test file or any specs file that we create, we need to put this line in the first line. Let's assume that we wanted to create n number of hundreds plus of uh, test files. Obviously, we need to put this everywhere. So the, that's where the second option is more prominent and permanent as well. So once we put it, then we can use it across all the project's files. So if we go to the documentation page of Cypress, they have given a very easiest way to syntax, which is nothing but if we copy this, we create a file called jsconfig and then copy this property and put it in there. So this JS config should come in the project directory, root directory. Please remember, you need to create it under this root directory, not under the Cypress folder. So if we click here in the menu option, then right click, new file, JS config is the file name dot JSON. This is the JSON file and whatever the code syntax they have provided, just copy this and put it here. So what does it mean? So this include keyword, this include string contains the two modules, two folders basically. It look for all the files under the node module Cypress and also the Cypress, then this is a glob fed pattern. We'll talk about that, what are those patterns are. Cypress dot and then just JS file. Anything that sits under the Cypress, this directory with a dot extension, this syntax will apply now. So if we save it and close this file, let's go back to the reference the demo file and we'll also comment this out now and then let's talk let's type cy dot it doesn't come up let's save this file and come back cy let's now type cy dot it now loads all of the existing method. Cy dot visit is one of their method, which will load a page. So if you, for you, if it doesn't load up, so what is the easiest way to fix this problem is, because you added a config file here, it it takes some time to load the configuration. So the easiest way to just close Visual Studio code and go to your root directory, the directory that you created a folder, it is sitting in Cypress and this is my project name. And under here, just put CMD and then code dot open or other way if you have a vs code shortcut in your desktop you can also load it from there so once you load it you see this initialization js dot ts config language feature under the bottom right it's just trying to load everything so the moment it gets loaded then if you start typing cy dot it takes a bit of time it's just still initializing yes now you get it all of this method and describe is another function coming from mocha which is nothing but this is the uh, the test suit and test cases. So we'll talk about this in subsequent videos. 
right so now we will able to achieve this code intelligence otherwise it's becoming little more complex that you need to remember all the method and there are chances that we make mistakes in typing a method name or variable cool that's number one number two is how do we achieve the configuration as we have seen in the last video js cypress.json is the configuration file right in this config file whatever we need to achieve whatever we wanted to modify the existing configuration so this is the place for example whatever we have seen as part of the last video if you remember that we have seen a configuration tab in the test runner right so in order for us to change any of the existing values let it open the test runner so under the settings we have seen the configurations here let's assume that i wanted to change this the one of the time timeouts let's say that the default command timeout is now 4000 because of my application is slow then i want to increase this timeout to let's say that 6 seconds or maybe 10 seconds how do i change this right so in order for us here to change it the other way to do is basically you need to copy this exact word like this here and then put it here because json is a command key value pair surround this with this with the double quote and then put the value say let's say 10,000 milliseconds if you save it and if you go back to cypress now and then it, you see that it is the value get updated so this is how we configure we change existing configuration value right so what is the other easiest way you can you should come here and do everything now so it's a bit tedious and time consuming so the other easiest way to do is just press on top of this file top of this object just press control space bar so this gives an option as a schema right so we need to provide a schema value for this json so that by default we will be able to automatically load existing keywords so where do i find the key for the value for the schema the same documentation page if you come down at the bottom so this is section is talking about intelligence code completion if you come at the bottom of the page they have given the url or the endpoint for their schema validation if you copy this url and paste it here and again this is a json key value pair put it here and put a comma now if we save this file now the schema is now ready now from this point onwards anything that you wanted to type just press control space bar this automatically gives a value for example if you wanted to set as a base url you can select the space url by default it gives a value you can put whatever values that you wanted to put in let's say that www.google.com and if you wanted to change any of the any other existing value this is how you go you put anything that whatever you see in there in the test runner almost you see every single comment here so that you can configure and change the way you want so this is how we configure we achieve the code intelligence for the cypress.config file 